Hey guys, it's Beefaroni. Wanted to show off a new piece of software that was recommended by a coworker. It's called Feogen. It bakes the AO to either the high poly vertex colors or it can just bake it right to the low poly texture. I think the real strength of the model, uh, the real strength of the program is baking to the high poly vertex colors and it does it all through the GPU so it's super super quick. It's about $35 right now during the development process. I think at $35 it's a no-brainer to buy. At 70 when it releases I would still buy it, but 35 it was just just had to have it. You can if you just download it without buying it, you're able to test out the software, but you can't export any maps. So uh, after this video, if you have any second thoughts about if it's good, just download it, test it out. I think I think you yeah, I think everyone will enjoy it. So let me open it up real quick. Going to load in my high poly model. This is about this model is about a little over two million polys and when I load it in it's going to take a little under a minute to process everything so hopefully nothing freezes So what it's doing right now is just yeah, it's generating the AO on everything, and it's doing it incredibly quick. And these uh, these are some pretty, some really nice results from something that you don't have to set up a cage distance or set up a high to a low poly. Just bake it completely on the GPU, super quickly, and be able to see it in real time on the model. So here's the result of the AO. There's a few parts here where the model isn't high enough res. I'll probably blur these out or edit them in Photoshop. The other alternative would be to smooth the mesh again. Uh, that would just be creating a huge file in my case, and the areas that don't look good are so small in comparison to everything that does look that looks great. Here's another area, and here's another area. And once again, this, I could insert more edge loops. There's a bunch of things I could do to get this like super super smooth but it's really not that big of a deal in addition to doing AO it can also do a gradient map which I will show right now so there's the gradient map once again it looks really nice and was calculated in maybe about 10 seconds I'm, I'm not sure how long that was but it was pretty wasn't long at all so here's just the AO again on the model once again looks good so I'm gonna right click this mesh and then save the vertex AO on it and then I'm gonna export that to an FBX so just the main high poly AO and then an X normal I can load up that FBX that was just exported So I have the main AO, turn off ignore per vertex color, import the low poly mesh and cage, Alright, so I have those both loaded in, and the baking options, I 
have the main set to the math and then I'm going to go down to big high poly vertex color and so there it is the high polys uh, the AO was baked to the high poly vertex colors that was baked into the low poly and uh, here we have a map. Since uh, some parts of the model were generated with N Endu uh, by Quixel, those won't be baked into this AO map. So what I'm going to end up doing is combining this AO map with the AO map generated from the normals. And I think that'll just, in with very little effort and very little time, it'll end up being a great AO map. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing where the software develops. I definitely recommend trying it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.